Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a bit of the texture kind of news underneath uh, to uh, recreate a rose quartz stone. You can have a look in here. And I will show you best techniques how to uh, achieve this look. Hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. If you're existing subscriber, hit the notification bell to don't miss any future uh, tutorials from me. I hope you really enjoy it. Let's start. So that's the rose quartz stone which we are going to do and um, I will also explain you step by step how to do it on the clients as well because on the tips it works slightly different. I will just peel the tip uh, later on and on the client obviously you will just file it. Uh, but it's a really nice and easy technique to do it. So I have prepared two tips to show you two slightly different looks. And uh, we are going to use uh, the kitchen foil to uh, get the nice and easy uh, look done really quick and first of all I just grab my mixing palette I've got a tiny bit of the paint on French gel in here and we are going to mix it, it with some nice fiber gel and pink and also in clear so if you are going to do this um, design on the client, I suggest you put a scope of the clear gel first. So later on when you do the rebalance, you don't have to file as much. I'm going to grab the scoop of the clear and I'm going to go into my paint on French gel. I'm going to mix it, like maybe not even mix it, but um, pick up like the clear and the white all together and then apply on the nails. All um, idea about it is to go pretty nice and um, thin on the sides just because uh, later on when you press the product might go too much on the client's cuticle. So on the sides you're going nice and thin. You could do it with the white as well uh, on its own but I prefer it with the clear because it gives a better structure and uh, it cures better because we want to apply some thickness to it. Okay, so I just like uh, put the, most of the product in the middle. It will also help us create the apex as well. And then I've got some foil in here. So what you have to do is just like wrinkle it in your fingers. Pretty nice and decent. And then apply on the nail. I also find that this, the brush is absolutely fantastic to create uh, more broken points. And it goes around the nail really well. So actually the brush is absolutely amazing to flatten the foil. And then you put it inside the lamp and give it a cure. Okay, so we are going to do the same on this one. I'm cleaning my brush. Picking up the scoop of the clear gel and my white. Actually, I need a drop more. So nice and thin around the cuticle area, nice and thin on the sides. And then I want to mix that because this way I create a much more interesting look. Uh, than just a pure white, like you've got some see-through places. And I'm going to tear a little bit more of the foil. So I'm kind of squishing it. This way the design is much nicer. And then using the brush, I'm just making sure it is everywhere. You can see how nice design we have already created by using the brush. Okay, I can swap the tips. 
And basically, after it cures, what you do is just peel this foil and you've got texture nail. I want to show you that as well. So there is a texture. Our next step is going to be to put some fiber gel and I've got the soft pink one. And I think this one is absolutely awesome for the rose quartz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going just to pick up the thin scoop and apply first all over. Just like nice and thin layer. Then you pick up a bit more and you start building your apex. Because uh, that's kind of design where you will do straight away the structure. Okay, I also quite like, and you all know that my favorite color, the uh, light rose and I'm going to pick up the scoop of that as well just so my stone looks more realistic so I have smoothed it all nicely out and now I'm going to give it a cure On this one we will do slightly different so I'm just pulling the foil out and then I've got some gel polish in a bright bright uh, pink color and I'm mixed with the top coat so there is lots of top coat and this bright gel polish and what I'm doing is I'm just gently applying it in like nice and thin layer and then I'm going to pick up the scope of the uh, soft pink color ah, messing about apply it all over nice and thin and I show you guys like if you've got sticking out parts don't worry about it you will file them out you don't need to encapsulate them all. And a drop of the other one. You can do it in a one color, but I, I just find it it gives uh, much nicer results if I kind of mix and match different colors. Okay, build up your apex. And give it a cure so at the stage it doesn't like look close to the okay it looks maybe close but it's not a rose quartz nail yet and um, we have to cure it properly and then file it also actually maybe it's a good time I'll show you all the colors so the fiber gel we've got it in clear and uh, it's actually quite like nice clear clear it doesn't have those yellow tints like some of the gels do then this one is the i put the leads wrong so this one is the soft pink one and it's like a barbie pink i would say so that's the soft pink then we've got the light rose and the light rose is my favorite one for the nails because i think that looks the most natural as you can see i have actually finished the spot and then there is a sheer rose and sheer rose is like a see-through pink that's what actually look quite nice for a um, rose quartz nails as well on the top because it just gives this nice hint to it now i can tidy up this so i can file actually there is um, quite a lot of filing but we do, we're doing a first of all we're doing a structure and then we're filing this nail so i think i need to check which one was first to make sure they are cured properly this one was first okay so this one is cure so i'm just removing the inhibition layer the sticky layer clean that well and 
I don't want to damage my tip holder, so I just will file in my hands. So when you finish the client's meals, you will just file on the sides like you normally do, file the free edge, other side, and then you just smooth out on the top. And what will happen is once I start filing, there will be some places which will show up more white. We can clearly see that here. So we've got some nice white crack. Okay, I'm just going to perfect this shape and then use the buffer to smooth it out. <laughs> this isn't a normal way of filing, but unfortunately still no client, so I have to work on the tips. But that would be a perfect uh, design to show you on the live person, actually. Because I believe it's pretty quick. We don't have to apply the gel polish. And the gel polish application itself takes quite a lot of time. So here we are building up the needle straight away with the design. So definitely a very quick way of doing the needles. And I'm going to do it like once we are allowed to work on the clients again. Okay, so that's it. Filed, I can pop it back. I can't look at my finger like it's still healing crazy. And that's just from the blister. Okay, so I just clean the dust. Use a tiny bit of the blue scrub so I know how the design is going to look when I put the top coat over it and then pick up my mixing palette. Let me clean all this dust. From them beautiful tips. So what else I quite like is when we've got those difference like here on this line. So some of them are on the top, some of them are on the bottom and so those on this one. And to achieve that we are going to layer the top coat. So what I'm doing is I've got my pink mix in here. I just added a drop of those pink like almost nothing. kind of color in some places so it's a top coat which is mixed with the gel polish but there is hardly any gel polish over it okay so you want some places to be darker some places to be lighter and then once you have created that pop it into the lamp and by applying this layer, we also going to make those kind of 3D look when we paint some white lines. So this is absolutely a fab way of doing it. The other one is finished as well. So I'm just going to quickly file that too. And see here, they are really sticking out parts, so that's the parts which will be white when we file. You can see that already. Same here. So once I file that, it is going to be white. Okay. So just touch up and then I can take a buffer to smooth that out. And you can already see like it's starting showing those white parts as well. Okay, that should be enough. 
I mean, obviously on the clients we file, so it's nice and smooth. <laughs> I'm just cleaning my, da uh, my hands away from the dust. It's messy like to do it on the tips this way. But that's it. I wouldn't be able to file that squeak on this uh, stand. I think this one looks beautiful even on its own. So obviously when you're working on the client, you kind of would use the same technique, so they're kind of similar looking. And on this one, I'm going to apply the top coat as well. Just so I can get those 3D like look when I apply the lines on top of it. Okay, give it a cure. And now it's the time to just finish off with the detail. So I'm using the paint on French gel and my micro styler brush. So to be able to paint very fine lines, you need to prep your brush, like make sure it's really nice and thin. And then um, I'm going to kind of follow the cracks. So here it was going to be one. And you can see it because there is this top coat. It definitely shows like they are different layers and I do like that so much. So I don't want these white lines to be big, just tiny, thin lines. Like very delicate. Okay, so this way we have created the stone. I can pop it into the lamp. And on this one I show you also something else. So... Doing a line. Don't make them too straight, like let them show that this is kind of like a weak crux. Okay, and then on this line, what else you could do is like clean your brush up and then smudge it a little bit. So I keep smudging it, so it will look like it's an, another layer of the stone in there. And then define some parts. Okay. And once you're happy, you can pop it into the lamp. And our final step would be to apply the top coat just to make everything nice and shiny. We could also use some tiny bits of the gold flakes. Uh, I think that would look really nice too as well. And different colors to create different stones. So it's definitely a great technique 
you do a bit of the texture nails but if you look at it like pretty close you can see it all those different layers on the stone look okay and same on this one i'm just applying the top coat and again the lines which we have done it after the top coat the white ones you can see they are definitely a layer higher. If you would be really fussy and you would add one more line uh, on top of this top coat, it would look even more 3D. So uh, that's for someone who really would like to do something even more complicated. Actually, I might show you just, just to highlight the difference. Um, so if I do one more crack you can clearly see it is on much higher layer Okay, and pop it into the lamp. Yeah, this one is cooked, can go into the collection. And this one, I will just have to apply the top coat over it and it would be done as well. So very quick and nice way of doing the rose quartz nails. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Uh, if you did, let me know down in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscri subscribe button as there's lots of different useful tutorials. Thanks guys, glittery hacks and bye for now.